Welcome to the PAC Football Report, covering games on September 2nd and 3rd, 2022. I'm Joe Anderko. This week, we will take a quick look back at the opening weekend of the 2022 season in the President's Athletic Conference, while also previewing Week 2 contests on September 10th. PAC teams went 5-6 and six against non-league competition last weekend. Highlights include defending champion Carnegie Mellon outlasting D3 West Coast Power Whitworth 35-17 on Friday night. WJ also topped the traditional top 25 program with a 35-26 home win over John Carroll from the OAC. Grove City rolled past Juniata 63-6 in its lid lifter, while new head coaches Brandon Robinson at Bethany and Cornelius Coleman at Waynesburg had victorious debuts, with the Bison topping Hiram 26-16 and the Yellow Jackets recording a 52-14 win at Gallaudet. Westminster and Case Western Reserve each lost to nationally ranked squads, with the Titans dropping a 22-8 decision at Delaware Valley, and the Spartans falling at home to Johns Hopkins 54-14. Allegheny fell at home to Union 42-27, and St. Vincent was edged 25-21 by Stevenson at home. While Wooster overcame an early 19-0 deficit to win at Geneva 33-25. Finally, Teal dropped its opener at Montclair State 27-6. Six games are on tap on September 10th, including five games between league opponents that do not count in the league standings due to the conference's unbalanced schedule for 2022. One of those games is at Harold Burry Stadium in New Wilmington, where 0-1 Westminster hosts 1-0 Bethany beginning at 1 p.m. The Titans rolled to a 42-6 win at Bethany a year ago and hold a 44-12-2 all-time mark against the Bison. But Westminster head coach Scott Benzel is wary of his opponent heading into this weekend's matchup. Bethany and Brandon have done a very nice job with um, their structure and what I'm seeing on tape is, is a very dangerous football team with lots of athletes. Another key matchup takes place at Chuck Knoll Field in Latrobe where 0-1 St. Vincent hosts 1-0 Washington and Jefferson at 1 p.m. The Presidents have won 12 of the 13 all-time meetings between the programs, with the lone Bearcat win being a 35-27 decision in 2011. St. Vincent head coach Aaron Smetanka talks about the keys for success for his squad against W&J. It's like they were in past years. I mean, you can see right at the bat this first game that they played for Tom Carroll, throwing the ball over to Phil to the top of loose. 45 times on a course of the game. Um, so we have to understand on our end, we have to do a good job on our defending that pass. It's the 2022 home opener for new head coach Sam Bauman and Owen 1 Teal as the Tomcats host Owen 1 Allegheny at Alumni Stadium in Greenville beginning at 1 p.m. It will be the 84th all time meeting between the local programs in a series that dates back to 1893 but the first as conference opponents since a 15-13 Allegheny win over the Tomcats in 1983. Teal has faced Allegheny in football more times than any other program other than Grove City, which has Bauman excited about the Gators returning to the PAC fold in 2022. You know, even though it's a new conference, this is kind of a good game to open the conference with because uh, I'm very familiar with what they got. Really good program up there and uh, no, I think uh, it, it it should be a fun afternoon on Saturday. I, I think you know it should be a really competitive ball game. In other Week Two action, longtime rivals 1-0 Grove City and 0-1 Geneva renew acquaintances at Grove City's Thorn Field with kickoff set for 1 p.m. It's the 87th all-time meeting between the programs dating back to 1893. The Wolverines rolled past the GTs 56-7 a year ago. 0-1 Case Western Reserve travels to 1-0 Waynesburg for a 1 p.m. contest at Wiley Stadium. The Spartans doubled up the Yellow Jackets 66-33 in 2021 and have won the last five meetings between the programs. Finally, 1-0 Carnegie Mellon steps out of conference when the Tartans travel to New York for a matchup with nationally ranked and 1-0 RPI at 1 p.m. in the first ever meeting between the programs. RPI posted a 14-7 win over Dickinson in week one. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. Please log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org anytime for the latest news, scores, statistics, and other info. You can follow us on social media via Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are available at the PAC website. I'm Joe Onderko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium. <laughs>